Today we're opening Legendary Collection Joey versus Legendary Collection 5Ds. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and we have another versus video with 5D's Legendary Collection, which is one of the ones that it took me a long time to actually open. This is our third time opening it against Joey, which is a fan favorite, a really awesome set. But first, we have a giveaway. I will be giving away, or Daxter, the guy who sent in the 5D's to be opened, is giving away two different cards. He said to keep or to give away, but you guys know what that means. We're giving it away. All right, after getting it out of that insanely wrapped stuff, that was very, very hard to get out. Well, let's see what we have. We have a PSA card and some top loaders. So the giveaway, Grandmaster Chi Chow from the Sword Soul. Cool, Sword Soul. Iris Sword Soul. This looks like a lot of Dawn of Majesty stuff. Okay, that's Bode as well. Iris Sword Soul. We got uh, the Chang Ying from Bode. We got the Sword Soul Strategist, the Taya. So you guys are trying to play Sword Soul, uh, this might be the giveaway for you. And then we have a PSA graded card, a Flame Swordsman from Stardust Joey. Whoa, this is actually kind of cool. PSA Gem Mint 10. So all you have to do to enter that giveaway is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Do you think 5Ds or Joey will win this battle? All right, let's get into it. We have the Legendary Collection 4. We're going to start with this one and then have 5Ds for the last part because 5Ds is a little bit rarer, I would say. Almost definitely rare i've not really opened it up very much as you guys know so let's open this up first all right inside we have the usual what is it five packs and a promo pack so we have the blue flame swordsman yet again very cool then we have our five packs and then inside we have this mat so i guess you could call it a mat it's not it's like a cardboard mat all right let's get into our five packs of joey joey wheeler let's see if we can get any joey wheeler common cards that'd be pretty fun we're going to do two cards like this. we got the Black Terra for the Jurassic World. we got the Teuton Mask, Fiendish Engine, Giganto. Oh, look at this. This is a classic. A massive steel ball that mows down anything in its path. Steel ball, huh? So I guess these are like the attachments on the ball. Interesting. we got the Needle Wall. Pretty decent card. Oh, Rux and Special Plus the Beast Skull. That's a classic on the channel for Heavy Storm. Pretty nice Ultra Rare. And... Gold Woo Lord of Dark World with a baby dragon. All right, very nice. That's actually some decent stuff right there. All right, next pack. Fairly decent pack. I'd say baby dragon was pretty good. Heavy Storm's pretty good. Gold is probably not the one you're looking for, but still pretty cool to see those Dark World cards. Two was perfect because we didn't ruin anything. Marauding Captain and the Super Rare was last. Stone Armadillo. Okay. Here, here's one. Here's one. The Stone Crit has got Rock Hand Fur. Rock Hard Fur. Rock Hard. Okay. This stone crit has got rock hot fur. That gives, <laughs> that gives him some really good defense. All right, okay. We're doing our best with a Joey accent. All right, we got the Gravekeeper's Curse. All right, always pass the rare. The Rux is special of the Jinzo. The best cards are like rares. That's insane. Okay, we got the Reinforcement of the Army. Good card. Compulsory Evacuation of Ice. Very nice printing of this card. And a Harpy Lady 2 with a Fairy Box at the end. Very nice three cards there. I mean, a lot of solid cards in this set. Three packs to go. Will we get another Joey Wheeler card? Joey Wheeler. We got Zoa. Zoa. We got the Monster Tamer. A Master of Monsters that exercises control over several creatures. Very cool. He's only 1,800 and he's a tribute. Very, very strange. Scar, Scout of Dark World. We got a Zoa. A Barrel Dragon. Malevolent Mech Goku in the Toon Sub Skull. We didn't Rux and Special this time. Claps on back. Very good. And a Harpy Queen Ultra Rare. Very nice. And Harpy's Feather Duster. This is a very nice card. Secret Rare. Okay. Harpy's Feather Duster and a Dark World Dealings. That's probably actually probably the most one of the most expensive cards in the set. Super epic printing of that card. I actually picked up the SDD version while I was at sh in uh, Charlotte. I got it from Lewis's uh, Raw Cards. I was like, near mint 20 bucks. I was like, Hand me that thing. I want it. I want it for my deck. All right, let's do two. Fourth pack out of five. We got a Marauding Captain. Very nice. The Stone Armadillo. The Rear Yoku. Cave Dragoon. The Dungeon Worm. Hidden under the floors of a labyrinth. It swallows any who pass above. Very cool. Beast Skull Dragon. Yet again. Beige. Vanguard of Dark World Ultra. And... Gold, woo, the Lord of Dark World. Okay, and a Call of the Haunted. Very cool. Call of the Haunted. Get him, Bones. All right, one more pack. <laughs> one more pack. Let's go. What can we get? Bones. Come on, Bones. I love Bones. Bones and his crew were hilarious. They just cracked me up. Let's go. Hi, Super Knight. Hayabusa Knight, I should say. That was backwards. Card of Sanctity. We will not drive five cards with that, unfortunately. Or six, or whatever it was. Volcanic Eruption. Zoa. Very cool. Lesser Fiend. 
Gravekeeper's Stele. Very nice. Gravekeeper's Steel. Stele. Whatever you want to call it. What's next? Foolish Burial. That's another really good printing of this card. Okay, that's nice. And what's our super going to be? Silent Doom. Okay, not the best one ever, but pretty... Overall, a pretty nice one. I mean, we got Silent Doom, Gold twice. That's not that great. Harvey's Feather Duster is insane. Um, we got Compulsive Activation Dice. I would say three out of five secrets were really good. All right. Legendary Collection 5Ds. Let's go. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Last time, it was a little underwhelming with what we pulled. So hopefully, we'll pull something really cool this time. I feel like there's not as many nostalgia cards for me specifically in here. So we'll see if we can find some this time. I don't know. Because it is 5D. So it's getting a little bit later. I wasn't around like playing when 5Ds was actually a thing. So maybe not for me. Let's see if we can get some Edison format and stuff like that in here. We got five packs. We've got the uh, the promo pack, which has a German Garter, the Nordic Serpent. Very cool. And what does this look like? All right, we've got Crow. Yeah, we're not opening it, though. But Jack, <laughs> too much work to open it. Five packs to go. A pretty solid fight put up by Joey. So let's see what uh, Mega Pack from Legendary Collection 5Ds can do. Interesting, they actually just announced a reprint for the Earthbound Immortals. The first time ever since this set, actually, which is pretty interesting. Not sure where. There's actually some, like, pretty expensive commons in this set that I noticed last time. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out. I don't know exactly what they are, but I'll look afterwards. Pretty synchro. we got the Blackwing Mistral, the Silver Shield. Blackwing Aurora, the Northern Light. So it's going to be a lot of Blackwings, obviously. Rose Tentacles. And is it... I don't know if it's a secret or whatnot next. Blackwing Gladius, the Midnight Sun. Okay. Quillbolt Hedgehog. This is kind of a classic. I've always remembered this one. And a Scarlet Security with a Battle Waltz. Is there no rare... No, the Rose Tentacles was the rare. Okay. Before we keep going, I want to shout out the Twitch channel. Go check it out down below. I'm probably live right now as you're watching this video. So go say hi. If you guys want, give it a follow. And because we've been doing a lot of streams over there, like five a week. So pretty much going hard there. So if you guys are interested in that, go check it out. All right, four more packs. Let's go. Legendary Collection 5Ds. Let's see if this can beat Joey. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to beat it or not. We've got a Savage Coliseum. The Black Salvo. Oh, Rux and Special, the Black Rose Dragon Common. Very cool to see that. Mechlord Army of Wizzell. Blackwing Blizzard the Far North. I think this is one that was actually pretty decent. So Blackwing Blizzard the Far North. The Tang not Tang I don't know how to say too many consonants right there at once. I don't think this one's very good. Ooh, and a majestic star dragon. Super. That actually looked really beautiful. Check that out. That's pretty nice. And then a power tool. That's one that was like an $8 common. So that's a really, really good card. Power Tool is a regular common. Majestic is a super. So Power Tool got shafted. Three packs to go. Let's see what we can do. Let's pull something. I got a Dameron right there. We've got a Mechlord Army of Grinnell. The Junkblader. I got a Dameron. Mech Timed Blast. Earthbound Whirlwind. Blackwing Dragon. We're pulling all of the Signer Dragons. That's not bad. Blackwing Dragon and... Thor, Lord of the Aesir, secret rare. I was about to say super rare. That's pretty nice. And a drill synchron. So I feel like we're pulling pretty decent right now. A Thorn of Malice. Overall, I think we're doing all right. I remember last time we only pulled like the power tool common. That was it. Like we didn't pull like any sign or dragons or anything. It was weird. So this is definitely more uh, cards that I actually know this time. Let's see. Sonic Chick. Interestingly enough, not a lot of Edison cards I've noticed. And this is like right around this, this area. Descending Lost Star. It might have been a little bit early. Offering to the Immortals. I don't know when this came out. Black Pack. The Turret Warrior. That is a rare. And... Ooh, the Magical Android. Here's a printing. Yeah, this card only has like a couple printings. Like the Duelist Genesis. Uh, I think this. Maybe a Hidden Arsenal printing or something. There's like one other printing. I don't think it was Hidden Arsenal actually because it didn't get reprinted. Debris Dragon. Whoa. Here's a good one. This is an Edison card. This has an Ultimate Rare as well, but this is probably a super nice version. Secret Rare. Okay. And then an Earthbound Immortal. This probably was worth more until I got the reprint recently. And then a Lifestream Dragon. Very nice. So we're pulling pretty good out of these. Honestly, this is going to be a really close battle i think we have one more pack i think they both have some pretty solid value five d's has definitely done pretty good the last couple packs <sighs> last pack what will we pull mech lord army of grinnell oh rux and special with the junk blader very cool to see that blackwing boreas the sharp he's very sharp tg sx1 is this the snatch steal destroys an opponent's monster of a sentence to the graveyard target one in your graveyard no that's not it okay look at a demo wrong yet again Fire Ant Ascator. All right, he's a Fire Ant. What will be next thing? An Ultra Rare. Ooh, the Venatus, the Nordic Ascendant. I don't know about this card. I don't think it's that good. And Quibble Hedgehog. What's with the doubles? We both had, we had a double in both of them. And then D Synchro. Okay, is that like a D Fusion except for Synchros? 
Interesting. I forgot to mention this. Isn't this a Signer Dragon too? That's probably actually pretty nice as well. That should be a pretty close battle. We'll definitely have the totals popping up for each side. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Shout out to TCG, Trust Guard, Stonefall Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Brett Palmer, Puffins of Doom, Stanley, Mimic, Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, and Anandatai Show. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.